Hello, CSI welcomes you. I'm DeBeth Mans, and today our very special guest is Miss Grace U. Collins. Miss Collins is a cultural diplomat who uses art to promote peace and understanding amongst different nations worldwide. Miss Collins has a background with the United Nations and currently owns and operates a consulting firm which promotes socially responsible practices particularly working with new green technologies, homeland security projects, and internet startups. Today, Ms. Collins graces us with her presence as the honorary ambassador of Nagaliam. Our segments have focused on several aspects of the conflict in Nagaliam, and today Ms. Collins is going to share with us how she continues to persevere and continues to be determined to make a change worldwide, particularly going up such a massive and emerging economy as India. Ms. Collins, please explain. Dr. Mann, for that question, I quite often ask myself that too. How could little old me go up against India? It's like a total David and Goliath story. But because the Nagas are a 95% Christian nation and their flag is Nagalim for Christ, I believe the four million Nagas that are praying for me have broken through spiritually the spiritual warfare that these people are under. They are again sandwiched between a Hindu nation of India, communist China, Buddhist Burma, and Bangladesh Muslims. They are the largest pocket of Christians, four million in that area, so they have suffered quite a bit of just spiritual warfare. And my Christian walk has been tested for the many years that I have been doing this. But I have seen God intercede day in and day out by the amazing doors that have been opened. These are like divine appointments that only God could have opened. So every day we move a little bit closer. We had an amazing spiritual breakthrough when we were part of the parade. Um, during the Cherry Blossom Festival, where we were able to raise the flag on U.S. territory, U.S. soil, in one of the most symbolic places, the Vietnam War Memorial area, and raise the flag next to the American flag. And I think that broke ground. I do this every day because I have a personal conviction. Um, wherever I speak, I talk about Proverbs 31, 8 through 9, which basically says we are to speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. That is the thing that spurs me on, and I believe that Christians, through prayer and action, can affect change. Um, many pray for us, but it is through action. So. I speak to many uh, Christians, that is my constituents, American Christians and churches, and also politicians who are Christians. They understand the spiritual significance of our helping our Christian brothers and sisters. Again, we evangelized them in 1873, and the whole nation came from an animist background to a Christian nation. It is for all these reasons that I continue my work, and I see God working through me. It is a, a blessing, it's a privilege, but it's also hard work. So I thank the people that pray for me. Ms. Collins, thank you for coming today and making us aware of a very significant international conflict. As you know, CSI was founded in 2003, and it's because of people like you that we can continue 
to bring to the people awareness of what we need to be doing to be both productive and positive. We wish you well on your mission. Again, Ms. Grace Collins, Honorary Ambassador to Nagalim. Thank you, Dr. Manns, for having us today.